Today we're going to have a quick look at how to work with controls in Amos. Controls is a concept that you use when you have a model and you want to see if there are potentially confounding variables. Now, how do you do this in Amos? Well, it's actually really easy. We bring up the variables in the data set and we choose the variables that we want to have as controls. Two common controls are age and gender. So we're going to put them in here. So basically what we're going to check is uh, are there relationships between age and gender to the endogenous variables that confound these relationships. So we put these in and we want to draw single headed arrows from our controls to the other endogenous variables like so. And then, since we're treating these as exogenous variables, basically, the controls, that is, we need to co-vary them as well. So we're going to mark all the exogenous variables as such, click Plugins, and draw covariances. It doesn't look very pretty. We could rearrange it, but it will be fine for our analysis. All right, so let's run this model. And let's have a look at the text output. Click Estimates, Scalars, and Regression Weights. All right, so let's have a look at the significance values for the relationships between our controls and the endogenous variables. For age and sex, going to Val short, we can see that these are not significant. For age and sex, going to loyalty for the long term, we can see that these are also not significant. Now. Back to our path diagram. What does this mean? This means that we have now controlled for age and for gender, meaning that age and gender does not confound the relationships that we have specified in this model here. And that's how easy it is to work with controls in Amos. Don't forget to report your controls and your output, and you should be set. Thank you very much.